I've been wanting a stool with certain features, something that's low, rolls easily over small obstacles, and has a storage tray. So let me show you how you can create your own. First, you'll want to mock up the leg. I considered other designs, but went with a curved and tapered leg and added four holes to give it a high-tech appearance. But you can give it your own look and feel. Next, you transfer the leg pattern onto 18-gauge sheet metal and cut out six parts. Using roundover dies and a bead roller, curl the top and bottom edge of each part. Next, using punch and flare dies, make the holes in each part and radius the edges. To finish the legs, cut tapered strips of metal to cap the top and bottom edges and use the roundover dies to curl the edges on each cap. I used the auto set feature on my Millermatic 142, dialing in 024 wire and 18 gauge steel. Warning! Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Place tacks a half inch apart on all the joints. Next, double check the legs with the fixture to make sure it still aligns. Then. Finish weld the joints using the same settings on the welder. After the legs are welded, smooth the joints with a 3 inch 80 grit hard disk followed by a 6 inch 120 grit padded disk. For the final finish, use a 180 grit sanding disk on an orbital sander. Using the fixture to hold the caster and seat tubes in position, scallop the ends of each leg to fit and tack weld them into place. The seat and caster tubes are 16 gauge and the legs are 18 gauge, so you may need to readjust the auto set parameters. After welding, grind all the joints smooth. I used a small belt sander to create a consistent radius on the fillet welds, followed by sanding with the 120 grit disc and orbital sanding with 180 grit. You may need a bracket to hold the tray to the caster tubes, which you can make from a 1 8 by inch and a half bar weld in three pieces of material together for each of the Z-shaped pieces. Next, using the fixture, properly align each piece, then cut and weld them at the center and grind the joints smooth. The last component to fit was the mount for the seat cushion. Cut an 8 inch square from 8 inch steel sheet and drill holes for the mounting screws in each corner. To center this plate on the seat tube, cut an aluminum disc size to fit snugly inside the seat tube and screw it to the center of the steel plate. Finally, it's time to weld the plate to the seat tube. I kept the same settings I used for the 8th inch tray bracket. With the fabrication complete, you can now use spray paint to coat all the bare metal parts. Once the paint dries, assemble all the components. As a finishing touch, you can cut a disc of thin rubber for the bottom of the tray. It's so convenient to have a low stool I can zip around on to any part of my working space and a place to store the tools and components I need for the task at hand. I hope you'll be inspired to make a stool like this for yourself.